How much money has the NBA lost in 2020 due to COVID-19? Well, let's find out. Welcome back to another episode of The Money Show. I'm Bailey, your host. Today we're gonna to talk about sports. Just kidding, we're gonna talk about money dealing with sports. The NBA, it's actually lost a lot of money due to COVID-19. The NBA was hit hard financially back in March when Rudy Gobert tested positive with the Rona. On March 11th of 2020, the NBA season came to a halt. Right before tip-off, the game was canceled because Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz had tested positive for coronavirus. March 11th was when they put the NBA to a halt, but it honestly shut down a lot of other businesses too, such as restaurants, about anything you can go and be around people, which hurt a lot. I was a server when it all happened and it was definitely scary. Social distancing was so boring, but we had to do it to keep others safe and not overwhelm our healthcare system. So in order to understand how much money the NBA lost, we need to understand how they made money in the first place. In the 2019 season, the NBA generated $8.7 billion. This income can be broken down into four revenue streams, which include NBA television revenue, NBA merchandising deals, arena revenues, and other smaller incomes, which include fines, interest, and sales of assets. The NBA's television revenue comes from a deal they made back in 2016 with ESPN and Turner Sports. This deal is worth roughly $2.6 billion per year and has a total value of $24 billion over nine years. This deal represents a 180% increase on their previous broadcasting deal. The NBA's merchandising income comes from a deal they made back in 2015 with Nike. The NBA signed an eight-year deal for $1 billion with Nike, who already makes most of the nation's basketball shoes. Nike also now manufactures the NBA's jerseys, replacing Adidas. On top of the merchandise deals, teams accept corporate sponsorships for their stadium names and stadium brands and ads. The 2017-2018 season marks the first time that jersey patches were included, fetching an additional average of $9 million per team. Arena revenues for the regular season generate roughly $1.5 billion. The NBA makes roughly $1.2 million in gate revenue per regular season game and $2 million each playoff game. There are roughly 1,230 regular season games, and when COVID hit, they had to cancel 259 games. The NBA would have lost hundreds of millions, of possibly billions of dollars if they didn't come up with some type of solution so they could still play. So in this whole thing they tried, they ended up with the Bubble League. The Bubble League became a huge success for the NBA. This is how it worked. From July 7th to July 9th, 22 teams traveled to Orlando, Florida. These teams consisted of the top eight teams in the Eastern Conference and the top eight teams in the Western Conference. It also included the next six best teams, which included the Pelicans, the Trailblazers, the Spurs, the Kings, the Suns, and the Wizards. If after eight games any of these six additional teams were within four or less of an eight seed, they would play them in a double elimination match where they would have to beat the eight seed twice. Then on August 17th, the playoffs would begin. So how much did the bubble league cost? Between the setup, housing, COVID testing, daily entertainment, and numerous other factors, this would cost the NBA roughly $150 million. Since the NBA was able to resume and play an additional eight regular season games before the NBA playoffs began, they were able to meet the minimum standard within their television and sponsorship deals. The biggest financial hit came with arena revenue. Since the NBA makes roughly $1.2 million per regular season game, it could be estimated they lost roughly $300 million for not finishing out the season in a traditional fashion. The NBA also makes roughly $2 million per playoff game. Since they weren't able to have fans in the bubble league, this cost them roughly $150 million. If you add these three costs together, it could be estimated that the NBA lost over $600 million because of COVID-19. Although they weren't able to make money through ticket revenue, they were able to make money still through their broadcasting rights and their sponsorship deals, which that's the main source of their income anyway. So everyone, I hope I was able to teach you guys something about the Rona and the NBA today. Make sure you subscribe to Holton Wise TV and keep up with everything. Also, leave your comments below and I may even answer back. I love seeing the comments and whatever you guys have to say. It, can, it always helps. And make sure you stay tuned so I can help you keep your money right.
for the Rona. You want to punish you for saying it? Like Motherfucker. That was so bad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.